Hello everybody and welcome to 27. So today I'm in a Jag XJR. I think it's from the 19, late 90s or something like that. This was a competitor for the E39 M3. <laughs> this was a competitor for the E39 M5. Uh, but a much more interesting car in my view. Uh, anyway, we're picking up a mate of mine. Uh, Richard, known as Hooter, and we're driving up to Bista Heritage to take a flight in a Tiger Moth, which is um, a really old uh, biplane. So I thought this would be the perfect beast for the journey. First thoughts are the cabin looks pretty amazing, and um, you know, I love it. I love the, the shapes, the way it's done, it's really comfortable. All right, Hooter, what did you get him, man? Age to How much was this? Knowing you, I would have imagined that you would have probably got him something cheap. What? Huh? Well, you're as tight as fucking anything, man. I'm not tight. You fucking are. I'll take objection to that. It's not what I imagined. The car? Yeah. Why? It's a big luxury car. Well, what did you think it was? I told you that's what it was well, going to be for the journey. I couldn't remember what it was. Just this talking. is the uh, supercharged, like, it's like the M, you know, the BMW M version. Really? For Jag. Yeah. It's the XJR right, right. Hooter, so it's like the sports model. I still don't know which driving. way I'm going. You don't like my driving? <laughs> Did you just say, we've only been driving for about a minute and you're already whinging. What, you just done a loop? Well, no, yeah, in terms of directions, I can't fault it really, you're right. But yeah, come on, it's the perfect car for the journey. But as long as it doesn't make me feel sick, yeah. Shut up. It's never, it's never all right for you, is it? The Porsche is like you complain at literally every ripple on the road because it's too freaking stiff. The Porsche is a nightmare. It's not a nightmare. It's completely fine. If you drove it a bit more gently, it wouldn't be so pitchy. This thing. Oh my god! I should have known it was my fault that it's moving around. Well, you're hammering it everywhere. I'm not fucking. I'll show you hammering it in a minute. No. So you don't. can actually see. I don't. Want you're such a fucking bad passenger, man. You're worse it's not than me. being a passenger. Oh, it's me. I'm just a shit driver. From the... Oh, fuck. That, what's the, look, just stop it. That's what I'm talking about. Well, I don't... You know, I'm getting used to it as well. My foot slipped. Honestly, it is worse. It's not even... It's not even comparable to driving with my mum. My mum is... You'd be my like, mum is You'd be like the fine. worst limo driver on the planet. <laughs> So what do you think? The interior is pretty nice, don't you think? Yeah, it's it's yeah, it's what you'd expect a luxury car to be. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, compared to like a Merc or a Beamer or something. I mean, they're nice as well, Mercs and Beamers. But this, you know, the shape of it and look at that wood trim. Yes. You know, yeah. I mean, it's proper. Yeah. I like. I love the way it looks. Some of the stuff, like this switch gear, it lets it down a bit. But the overall design and everything, I, look, I think, looks really cool. Lovely little clock there. Just Australian driving, but driving into another car. So where would you rather be, in this or in the Porsche? I'd rather be in my truck, actually. You would not rather be in your fucking truck. Your truck is the biggest nightmare in the world in terms of comfort. We'd already be knackered having driven here in your truck, and I'd, I'd have palpitations every time well, you tried to like, move off. As a passenger, I don't off. see why you'd be why you'd huh? be. Uh, well, because every time you sort of move off, the whole thing shakes unbelievably, right. and you say that I'm like dodgy footed and I'd be a bad limo driver. But when you're in the truck, it's like you know, from standstill picking up, you're literally thrown about all over the place. It is unbelievably comfortable. Come on, you've got to admit that road. Yes. I mean, it's a yes, horrible it road, and literally it, it, haven't felt it, it at it's all. It's too floaty for me. I, I, yeah, I, I agree. I agree. Yeah. yeah, I agree. But I think you'd get used to it. More road noise than I was expecting. Not from the engine, it's the tyres. Fuck it out. What do you mean, fucking hell, Hooter? I literally just sort of pressed it down a tiny bit. I can't get over the fact that it is the sports version and yet I cannot imagine a more softly sprung car. More wallowy. I mean the standard ones, what must they be like? Because they've got less low profile wheels and even softer suspension. Because really? this is yeah, this has been stiffened up. This is this what? is the sport really? version, yeah. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. 
Sweet. To infinity and beyond, mate. Yeah, it picks up its skirts, doesn't it? I suspect it's quicker than your Porsche. No, it isn't quicker than my Porsche. Actually, I, I doubt it is, to be honest, but it's hard to tell because um, the Porsche is so much more raw, it obviously feels like yeah, you're going that, quick. Yeah, but that sort of rush from nothing, I suspect, On this. have it. Yeah. I don't know if... The supercharger. I'm getting backache. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am lower lumbar. Well, can, you've got all sorts of adjustments on the left there. Adjust it, for fuck's sake. I'll, I'll complain to Dan. I'll tell him you weren't happy with his... Uh, with his Jag. Let's go there. We should be able to have breakfast there. And guess who's behind us? Jago. Yeah. <laughs> said to call him if it was shut. I'm sorry. Right. Took a walk down that dirt road To a house that's fallen apart You know I went to see that voodoo girl Cooking soup in a broth of hearts You know when her potions came over me like the sea under the Antarctic moon You know I took a statue from a garden And a bug from a jar Made it past the Iron Gate Alright, so what did you think about the Jag, who said? About the Jag? Yeah, did you like it? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a bit floaty, but yeah, yeah, it's all right. It's nice. It steers, steers well around corners. I thought it'd be understeering. It doesn't seem to be. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be. It's, it seems to cling on quite well, doesn't it? Yeah. And it's pretty fast. It is. And it sounds good. I do like the supercharger. But I think a bit more very body nice. control would probably be welcome, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think so. And did you enjoy the Tiger Moth flight? Tiger Moth flying was superb, yes. Yeah, it was pretty good fun, I have to say. A bit scary, but yes, very good. <laughs> Alright, thank you everybody for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't, and see you soon.